hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to baseline our repository our services and all before we do it i want to talk about what all tools we are going to use let's say i'm using github or gitlab so in the github we can use github actions to set up our ci so we'll be using github actions to write ci i will make it a little larger okay and the repository now you already know we are writing microservices so either we create one monolith obviously we are not writing monolith right so we'll not even talk about it we have multiple services order checkout user auth and all these things so we are going to have many services so what is the best approach nowadays this monorepo concept is widely popular and i'm using it since couple of years in monorepo you can put all your services inside one repository it's really not a monolith your still your projects will be independently handled through monorepo the only thing is it's providing you the automated way of testing all the projects running the build running the common command across the project providing the dependency of one library into other separate projects let's say i created a reusable typings reusable library which can be used across services I can create that as a monorepo package that can be shared across all different package like npm repo right npm module let's say I created a data chart module and publish it to npm and then I am using it in my multiple projects but if I wanted to have the same setup locally that means I don't need to publish and I'm still using this data chart library across my different projects I can do this with the help of monorepos and there are many monorepo tools so first of all github uh, actions and we are going to use monorepo concept and we can use many tools for that so there is a learner and there is a pnpm workspace so there is nx and uh, pnpm workspace i mean i know uh, there are different tools available pnpm and there is a bit bit is also popular in different world and then we have other tools like nx pnpm workspace nx and then rush rush is the some monorepo tool because all the big organizations even google microsoft all are using monorepo to manage their code i think there are 10 to 20 tools i have heard about larna is one of them for now we are going to stick to use larna and then there is i think one system provided by google which is bagel this is provided by i think microsoft this is google okay we don't need to worry about vendor who is giving them but this is a kind of setup we have okay we are going to use larna to set up a monorepo for our microservices front end back end the libraries and everything so now consider a scenario first of all why we need it well we need to understand uh, what we are currently doing let's say i create a separate separate repositories okay let's say i'm using github this is my front end app i will create these boxes quickly these are like uh, my different different repositories this is let's say front end this is let's say back end and all of these has their own independent ci system continuous integration system and they are being deployed as a lambda or being deployed to s3 bucket or being deployed to netlify whatever right everyone will have their own code base if i wanted to create a library let's say this is the library i'm creating where i'm just putting the typescript typings of of my services which can be exposed and can be used by the front end library or front end system or let's say i created a common utility helpers currently what i will do is i will publish this to npm remotely so that the other projects can add this as a dependency and then we have to do npm install here npm install npm install npm install 
in all the projects whenever you want to upgrade right so putting the doing the npm install in 10 different folders to run the whole system because in the microservices we have many microservices front end multiple front end multiple microservices it's like i'm doing the same thing across all different folders one by one can we automate it can we make things more easy like i'm writing a utility and i'm not deploying this i'm not putting this to npm what i want is i just have a mono repo this is really a repository so it's a auth microservice let's say this is order this is cart and i am using some mono repo tool and i wrap everything inside this so what will happen with this help of mono repo what you will have you will have a package.json at the root and you will have a pnpm workspace.yml if you are using pnpm nx or whatever the the tool you are using and then you will have package.json of these dependencies like okay i have this service i will have its own package.json package.json their own dependencies and this auth and utility and typings are some of the packages which we are going to use across every application there are some common utility tools i have added so what i will do is i will put the dependency of typing in the package.json of cart package.json of order package.json of auth and i can easily locally can consume the library and the typings provided by utility or any any other modules you can define the interdependency right this is getting this is what uh, the biggest advantage and we don't need to do the npm install everywhere because the the workspace is this mono repo tool will be automating things okay like i will have a, some command npm run build what this system will do is it will run this command across all the packages or all the applications i have in the system similarly i can have npm run lint npm run test all these commands i will have that will auto that will automate and will be executed across all the packages i have in the system okay now there are many questions uh, in our mind why should we start using mono repo first of all obviously for the whole system i don't want to maintain a 10 different repositories right if there is a possibility i have i'm building a uber eats clone I can put uh, all the typings, all the utilities, all the, the common modules of Nest.js in one library like common authentication module, common type or module, common logging feature in one module, one library because what we are doing, I will create a package and that package I will create as a library. Let me draw this. This is kind of a library. And this library can be used across i will put the dependency of this library in this project in this in this and you will start using it right they will have their own package.json you will have build command like these are the typescript packages you will have a build command test command clean command all the basic linting commands everywhere right so from monolith to we started using microservices and to manage the code we started using mono repo and there are many tools larna pnpm workspace is really popular for now we are using larna because larna is also now being managed by nrwl that is the same uh, organization which is managing the nx okay i mean all the big organizations are managing their code base through the mono repos the, there are many advantages using mono repo for the large scale code base first of all is shared package can be used to multiple applications locally you don't need to publish the package to the npm remote so that you can do npm install ag grid ag grid chart you just create a reusable lib package and start using it locally second it improves the collaboration across code bases teams working on different projects can improve the code bases from the teams without working on multiple repositories it's a one repo everybody knows what is in the repository yes the i mean the, if there are five teams individual repositories can be owned by five different teams it's not like okay 
um, if, I, if one team is committing, it's going to republish all the packages. We can control all those things. We can control the dependency. If let's say utility or the lib I'm updating, then I can also update the version of the lib across all different projects. Okay. So how to create a monorepo? Simple is we can use Larna after all the going through these different uh, tools we can just create a monorepo by just looking into some tools like like let's say larna okay we'll just see the larna's documentation and try to understand np npx uh, larna in it it will give you some basic setup and let's say get started npm nx in it Lana in it. Uh, I will start using these commands and then I you can also get clone this simple example and you can see this is the lana.json will also get created. Uh, if we see latest in it this is a package.json which has a lana and this is the lana dependency management workspace is defined inside all the packages and these are the dependencies. Let's say one application is dependent on another. Let's say the header footer are the applications. You can add the dependency of header footer inside Remix app. Right? So what is the dependency? Remix app is dependent on footer and header. And if you want to build all the project, what you will do is you will just create this command npm run build, learn run build. It will execute the build command across all the packages. Okay? So what we will do is first we will try to just play around with the simple Larna setup and then we will create our baseline packages.